We found some incredible travel trailers under 4,000 pounds, so stick around folks, you're going to want to check these out. Hi everybody, Mike here from RV Blogger in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're going to take a look at some travel trailers that weigh under 4,000 pounds. These travel trailers are light, easy to tow, and they come in some amazing designs. And we've saved some of the best designs for last. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video so that you can check them out. Hey, if you've seen our channel before and you're back, welcome back. We're happy to have you. And if you've never seen us before, this is your first time, welcome aboard. We're happy to have you here. We make tons of videos all about RVing. And we also have our website, rvblogger.com, where we literally have hundreds and hundreds of articles all about RVing as well. And if that's not enough, we also have a Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies, where you can join in, meet fellow RVers, ask tons of questions, get some great answers. It's just a great way to learn and get acquainted with other RVers at the same time. Today though, let's jump into our brief reviews of travel trailers that weigh under 4,000 pounds. This travel trailer is the Jayco J Flight 174BH, which means that it's got a bunkhouse. It's a very nice, small, compact travel trailer. It weighs 3,075 pounds. <laughs> Couldn't have said that any worse. And it's 21 feet, 8 inches long. So it's super light, very, very easy to tow, perfect for a first time RVer who's looking to buy a new travel trailer. And, um, you know, it's just a great space that's very compact for a, for a family outing. Anyway, it, when you first walk in the front door, on the right-hand side here, you have a nice full queen-size bed, storage above, which is nice and deep, and then it's got a little storage pocket over on the side as well. But underneath of this queen-size bed, there is just a ton of to storage space. I mean, look at all that room under there. So the kitchen area in this trailer is really nice. It's got a ton of counter space, which you normally don't have this much in a travel trailer of any size for that matter. But you have a nice sink in here. It's a little bit on the small side in my opinion. Two burner stove, hood, microwave above, and then extra storage up here as well. Now the refrigerator in here is a compact refrigerator. And it also comes with a little spot for ice trays in there as well. And then, of course, you have additional storage underneath of your sink and cooktop. Off to the right here, you have a nice big pantry cabinet above and more space down below also. Right across from the kitchen counter and all that stuff is your dinette area. It's really meant for two people, so you kind of have to eat in shifts in here if you have a family of four or five that you're traveling with, but it also converts into a bed so you can get one more person to sleep here. And then of course there's even more storage up top. Now right behind me here, there are two more bunk beds. And so you can get a kid in each one of these very, very easily as well. So here I am in the bathroom and I'm always standing in the shower. And as you can see height wise, Luckily, it's got this little little skylight over top. If you are, you know, over six feet, three inches tall, you're really going to have to scooch down in this particular shower. But it's about uh, three feet wide, and it comes with a full bathtub as well. So that's very nice. The only thing missing inside the bathroom is a vanity sink. In, in many travel trailers that are under 22 or 23 feet long, there is no sink in the bathroom. You just have to use the kitchen sink. All right, so this travel trailer is the Forest River Independence Trail, model number 172RB. It weighs just over 3,000 pounds at 3,065 pounds. It's 20 feet 5 inches long, and it sleeps three people. This is a really nice small travel trailer for any family to get away and enjoy some time out camping. Anyway, when you walk in the front, uh, the side door here, the first thing you have is a nice queen size bed on your right hand side. Each side of the bed has a nightstand with some storage underneath of it. And then there's a receptacle on each side of the bed and USB ports just on one side of the bed. But at least you can charge your cell phone and things like that. 
Also, there's a wardrobe closet on either side, very deep. It goes all the way to the front of the RV. I would say it's two and a half, maybe three feet deep. And then an open shelf up top here for additional storage. Now, for extra storage, underneath this bed, this also opens up and you have plenty of storage under there as well. The kitchen in this camper is really adequate. I mean, it's got a little bit of countertop space, single bowl sink with a sink cover, so you have you know added countertop space that way. Two burner stove, which is plenty. Down below, it's got lots of storage space under here. I mean, it's really impressive. It goes all the way back, um, so that's a nice feature. And then above, you have your microwave oven, and then next to that, you have a freezer, separate freezer and refrigerator, which is really a good size for this size trailer. And then across from that, you have a dinette, which can easily seat two people. You can drop the table down and convert this into a bed. So this camper will actually sleep three people in total. And then you have additional storage up above. And then off to the right over here is where you would mount your TV which would be fine if you're laying in bed watching TV, not so great if you're sitting at the dinette, but that's okay. So here I am inside the shower and uh, very basic shower. It's about three feet by maybe two feet, uh, but plenty of elbow room in here. Height wise inside the skylight, you know, you might be able to be about six, three before it would be too short for you to stand up fully. Okay, so this bathroom spans the whole back of the trailer, and they sure made the most of it. They put this gigantic vanity in here. It's got storage down below, plenty of countertop space, a nice big sink, and then an extra deep medicine cabinet up top. So you have plenty of storage space in the bathroom. So here we are inside the Keystone Bullet Crossfire. This travel trailer is really compact but it's got a lot of really usable space inside of it. It weighs only 3,077 pounds and it's 21 feet, four inches long. So it is a nice compact travel trailer. Now, when you first walk in the front door, you'll notice just to your right hand side, you've got your queen size bed. And all around the bed, there's plenty of storage. You have a nice big deep wardrobe closet on this side. And then you have these cabinets over top. They go back you know, a little more than a foot. The only thing I don't like about these is you have to hold them open to reach in here and get things out. Not the worst thing in the world, but that's just how it's made. Now, one other neat thing is underneath the queen size bed, there's this huge storage compartment under here, which is great. You can store things away in here that you don't really use that often, but it's a big spot for storage. Just to my left here is an inline kitchen setup and uh, I think it's really nice. They have a decent amount of countertop space, a very large sink that's in here, and then there's extra storage down below. Under the cooktop, there's storage. Under the sink, there's storage. And then you have your drawers down below that as well. Some of you might be wondering why the drawers are all the way down the bottom. Well, you can't put them underneath the sink or the cooktop. They just won't work there. Up above, you have additional storage as well, plus your microwave oven. Now, right across from the kitchen is where the dinette is. The dinette is set up for four people, and currently the table's down. We wanted to give you an idea of what it would look like if you were someone was going to sleep here. You just pull these back cushions off, put them in the middle, and this can sleep one person pretty easily, or if you had two little kids, maybe two people. And then above, of course, you have all this storage area up here as well. All right, so now Susan and I have flipped sides and part of the inline kitchen includes the refrigerator at the very end of the kitchen lineup. And it's nice because it's got a separate refrigerator and freezer. The fridge is a little on the small side, but it's not too bad. It's probably about the same size as the one we have in our camper actually. <laughs> right across from the refrigerator, there's a couple things. In the dinette area, this is where you would hang your TV if you were gonna mount a TV in here. It would need to be pretty small. And then you have two bunk beds in here, and both of the bunks have an electrical outlet, HDMI, not HDMI, what's the word? USB. USB port, so you can the kids can charge their devices. All right, so here we are in the bathroom, and as usual, I'm standing in the shower area. Now, if you are taller than me, you would have a tough time in this shower. I'm 5'11", 
there is maybe an inch over my head before you hit the ceiling. And even if you're standing in the little skylight area, I only have three inches over my head. So, you know, with taller guys, you're going to have to crouch down in here. But the shower is about three feet wide. And one nice feature is if you have little kids and you need a bathtub, this travel trailer actually has a bathtub. There's no seat taking up space. So the tub is the full three feet wide. Also in here, you'll notice, you know, a decent sized medicine cabinet down below that a decent sized vanity. And then of course, plenty of storage underneath. This travel trailer is the Keystone Bullet Crossfire 1850 RB model. It is 22 feet, four inches long, and it weighs 3,950 pounds, but it's got a terrific slide out and this baby feels much bigger than the measurements would indicate. When you first walk in the door, you'll come right into your kitchen and living area. And this kitchen is a big inline kitchen, which I really like the inline kitchens. You have a really large kitchen sink here. You've got a two burner stove, and then you have some extra countertop space, which is a really nice feature. A lot of trailers don't have that much countertop space available. Over top, you have some music set up. You have this little space for extra storage, microwave oven, and then additional storage over top as well. And then down below, lots and lots of storage under the sink, under the cooktop. And then you've got whoops, your drawer space set over here. Everything's nice and solid, though. I like the way it all feels and the lighter cabinetry and all that stuff. So really nice setup in here. Now, behind me is where the refrigerator would be located. And so it's kind of in line with the kitchen as well. And it has a nice separate freezer and refrigerator. So that's a good setup. And then right next to the fridge, you have all this pantry storage. And this is pretty deep. This probably goes back more than two feet. So plenty storage above and below as well. Um, now, right across from the kitchen area is your living area. One thing that makes this trailer feel so much larger is this whole area slides out. So your couch can bump out. It just opens up your floor space in here. And then this couch can fold out into about a queen size bed. So two people can sleep here. One nice feature is it's got a little end table right next to it with some storage underneath okay at the back of this travel trailer is where the queen size bed is located it's got a nice amount of storage it's got these big wardrobe closets on either side and then one thing that's really unusual is it actually has a drawer on each side as well that's pretty rare you don't see that very often uh, a little bit of open storage up over top and then behind your wardrobe closet there are two areas like a little alcove one above and one below and there's a little receptacle and uh, not HDMI, USB. USB. Why do I keep saying that? A USB port down below as well. It has that on both sides. So you can charge your phone overnight or whatever you'd like to do. And then a little bit of hidden storage underneath of the mattress as well. That's a good amount of space that you can stow away the things that you don't really use very often, but it's there if you need it. So here I am in the bathroom, and this is one of the few showers I've ever been in that the skylight isn't over the shower, but I'm 5'11", and again, there's maybe an inch or two over my head inside the shower, so you taller guys might have to crouch a little, but I love the fact that it's got the corner shower with the glass doors that roll in. It just makes the most of the space, gives you the most amount of elbow room. Over here, we have a good-sized medicine cabinet. You know, small sink, decent counter space and then storage down below. This side of the bathroom doesn't really put any cabinet space in here, but honestly, that's okay. Our bathroom's set up the same way, and we just put towel bars in here, and then we have a place to hang our towels. So sometimes the open wall isn't a bad thing. All right, this travel trailer is the Gulfstream Enlightened 25BH. It's 26 feet, 11 inches long, and it weighs just under 4,000 pounds at 3,899 pounds dry. This is a really nice travel trailer that is pretty light, but it's also long, so it's got some bunk room in it, and it's got a nice size queen size bed. It can sleep up to five or six people, depending on how big everyone is. You could even get seven or eight in here. 
but a uh, very nice travel trailer. Up front, when you first walk in the door, you have your queen size bed off to the right hand side, and then you have a wardrobe cabinet on each side of the bed, and then some overhead shelving as well. Also, each side has a little nightstand next to it with a receptacle and a USB port so you can charge in your phones overnight or anything else that you need to charge while you're while you're sleeping at night. Um, there is a little hidden storage under this bed as well. Uh, the freshwater tank is in there, but there's also plenty of storage under here if you wanna hide away those things that you don't use on a regular basis. Now, in addition, instead of just having your queen bed here, they do have an option where you can have a Murphy bed here. And so that would just be a couch that's in this location that flips out into a Murphy bed, which honestly, if I got this travel trailer, that's an option I might consider because this then becomes multifunctional area and uh, it doesn't take up much, as much space coming into the room when you have it in the couch position. So something to think about there. Okay, so in the middle of this trailer, we have the kitchen area. The kitchen's really a nice setup. It has a deep double bowl sink built into it little bit of counter space, two burner range, microwave up top. There is no oven in here, but most folks never use an oven when they're camping anyway. But there's also plenty of storage, upper storage cabinet, two lower cabinets that are pretty big, and then a couple of drawers down below. Right next to the kitchen area, of course, you have your refrigerator in the, in the perfect spot, separate freezer and fridge, just the right size for a nice getaway with the family. And then you have your dinette set up for four. This can convert into a bed. One person could sleep here very easily. Maybe two little kids could make it. But then you also have storage above as well. As we work our way back, you have two bunks back here. Again, I think one person could each, you know, could sleep in each bunk very comfortably. And if you have little kids, Maybe two kids could jam into there, but uh, good size bunks. Finally, we have a little pantry cabinet here, nice and deep. And then in this particular model, the bathroom sink is outside of the bathroom, but I think that's a really nice idea. You have your medicine cabinet here, sink, and then storage down below. The nice thing about this is if someone's in the bathroom, you know, using the bathroom, then someone else can be out here brushing their teeth or doing whatever they need to do. So it really adds to the functionality of the bathroom, in our opinion. So here I am inside the bathroom, standing in the shower as always. And this is about a three and a half foot shower. So it feels pretty spacious in here. Uh, head, headroom, uh, again, I'm 5'11". If you're in the skylight, you could be maybe 6'4 and be okay. But outside of the skylight, you know, 6'1", you're probably limited there. One nice feature about this is that it does have a full-size bathtub. So if you have little ones that need to take a bath, perfect spot for that. This travel trailer is the R-Pod 196 model. It weighs 3,600 pounds and it's 22 feet 2 inches long. And when you first walk in the door, you kind of walk into the kitchen area. On the right-hand side, you can't quite see them, but there's some coat hooks here. So you can hang up your coat when you first walk in. You also have a refrigerator with a separate freezer. And then it's a really nice inline kitchen setup. Very deep, big, round sink. Lots and lots of countertop space. Two burner stove, microwave down below. And then, of course, you have your kitchen drawers and additional storage as well. There's also storage above the kitchen area, which is pretty deep also. Just next to the kitchen is a very large pantry cabinet with adjustable shelves. Okay, so just past the kitchen area is a very, very comfy couch, which will jackknife out. One or two people could sleep on this couch as well. And it also serves as the area for the dinette. And there's a separate table for that that you can fold up and put away. Just above the couch, there's also additional storage. And I do want to point out that the pantry closet and the couch area are all part of a slide out. So it gives you a little more room inside the camper. 
All right, just across from the slide out where the couch is, is the bathroom. It's sort of in the center of this camper. I'm standing in the shower right now. I'm 5'11". I've got about four or five inches over my head. Decent sized shower. It's got a shower curtain. It slides in a track, which we like. It keeps the curtain from blowing in on you. Then you have a medicine cabinet with a little storage below. Good size vanity with countertop area and storage below that as well. Okay, so here we are at the front of this travel trailer, and there's a very nice size queen size bed up here. There's also a wardrobe closet on each side, a little nightstand with a receptacle and a USB port as well. And then, of course, there's a TV mounted on the wall, and this can actually swing out so that you can see it from the couch area. This very cool travel trailer is the Gulfstream Vintage Cruiser 19 CSK model. It's 23 feet, 2 inches long, and it weighs just 3,395 pounds. But it's got that gorgeous vintage design that looks really, really different from just about any other travel trailer that you'll see out there on the market. When you first walk in, you've got a really big wardrobe closet up here on the left that can serve as a coat closet or all kinds of storage for you. Your refrigerator is also located over here, but you have a separate freezer and refrigerator, and it's got the really nice colored finish on it, so it just blends and contrasts really nicely with all of the wood tones that are in here. Just to my right, we have the kitchen area, which features a large, deep, square kitchen sink, a three-burner stove, some countertop space. It's got this really cool little backsplash to go with the vintage theme. Also has an oven down below. Plenty of storage space all around and three drawers for all of your utensils. Up top, you have additional storage space up here. All these cabinets are very deep as well. A microwave oven, little radio, and even some more storage over here. So here I am directly across from the kitchen on this nice comfy couch. This baby jackknifes out. One adult or two small kids could sleep on here pretty easily. This area also bumps out, so it creates a little more space inside the camper. You'll also notice these two little corner cabinets on each side. Great use of space. Love the wood tones and everything in here as well. Towards the front of this travel trailer, you'll find a queen size bed, cabinetry all around. It's got wardrobe closets on each side plenty of space up above as well and if that's not enough the queen size bed lifts up and there's storage under there as well and then right across there's a tv mounting location right here so you can relax in bed and watch tv in the evening towards the front of the travel trailer is a very nice size bathroom i'm standing inside the shower of course and i've got about four inches of headroom over top of me i'm 5'11 for those of you that don't know the corner shower with the glass doors is very nice and roomy and luxurious. And then of course, wrapping around, you have your medicine cabinet, additional storage shelf up top, good size vanity with countertop, and then storage below that as well. This travel trailer is the Winnebago Micro Mini. It is model number 2106 FBS, and it weighs in at 3,840 pounds, and it's 21 feet 11 inches long so it's a smaller size camper that would be very very easy for you to tow we really like the setup in here we think it's fantastic you, you walk in the door and on your right hand side you have a nice big queen size bed uh, on the one side you have some drawer space nightstand receptacle usb port storage over top and then on the left side you have a another storage area and uh, sort of a wardrobe closet. And nice little feature here under the bed, plenty of storage as well. So for a small trailer, this has a fantastic kitchen setup, we think. It's got an inline kitchen setup. As you can see, it's got a decent sized kitchen sink. If you need a little extra counter space, because it's kind of short, it does have this countertop extension here. Uh, it's got a three burner stove and an oven down below which is really kind of cool and then you have storage under the sink and then drawers as well up above you have even more storage plus a microwave oven and then back here this is a really nice size fridge for a smaller travel trailer it's got a separate freezer and a good size refrigerator as well as we wrap on around 
you can see we have the entertainment area here so you can mount your TV you have a radio some additional storage above and then some storage down below for all your movies DVDs all that kind of stuff now this model uh, has a little bump out right here with the sofa in it so instead of having a dinette they actually have a sofa bed so this can pull out and two more people can sleep here so it can sleep four people but it also has this separate dinette table so you can sit here eat your meals watch TV whatever you'd like to do and then it's got a little bit of storage up above the sofa as well so this travel trailer has a decent sized bathroom in the back and uh, here I am in the shower now I'm 5'11 and I'm kind of hitting my head right on the ceiling if I stand straight up. You really have to stay within the skylight if you're taller than 5'11. And if you're more than 6'2, I think you'd have to crouch a bit. But hey, for a small camper, this is a really roomy shower. And one of the reasons for that is it has this sliding shower curtain which actually bows out so it keeps the curtain off of you. And we really like these curtains on a track. It's got a track above and below so it holds the, cap the curtain out of your way. Uh, on the other side of the bathroom, there's a really big linen closet with storage above and below, all the way down to the floor. And then the vanity itself has storage below it. Nice size sink with a little bit of countertop space and then a medicine cabinet above. Let us know which one of these awesome travel trailers was your favorite by leaving us a comment down below. We hope you enjoyed checking out all these travel trailers today. And by the way, speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of these boxes down below. And remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger channel when you do and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every week when we put out a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.